Hey guys, so I'm back with some Halloween nails and uh, yeah, let's get started. So I start off with my long hair pretty nails pink nude and I actually took off my aquarium nails and so I'm just going to redo just those two um, with some glitter gradient. So first I start off with the pink nude and I apply that to the nail bed and kind of feather it out towards the free edge so it's not such a harsh line. Then I using some orange glitter that I got from Born Pretty Store and I'm applying that to the tip and kind of working its way down for that gradient effect. And then I'm gonna go in with the rose gold, um, also from Born Pretty. And I'm just going to kind of blend that in as well. And kind of go back and forth in between the two until I get it, you know, really nice and perfect. Once that's done, I cap it with a bead of clear acrylic and this is the end results. I'm using OPI's Russian Navy and I'm going to kind of cover up the white tips. So on this nail, I did the whole nail and then on my pinky, I just did like a French tip. Next, I'm taking some orange acrylic powder, also from Born Pretty, and I am going to form my pumpkin I use an exacto knife dipped in powder to also uh, make the little indentations and then some brown acrylic for the stem. And I'm using Tammy Taylor's Whitest White for the ghost. And this is the basic shape. I'm using a black nail art uh, paint to make the spider web. And I purchased this nail art paint from Sally's. Using a dotting tool to create the ghost face and the same black paint. And this is a tray and pen tool that I got from Born Pretty and it helps to adhere your rhinestones quicker. The tip of the pen has wax on it so it makes it so much easier to pick up the rhinestones. Which means I can work faster and there will be way more bling nail tutorials in the future. <laughs> so this is the end result. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and like, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to you guys in my next one.